What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my Raiders Tour Mini Scheme part number four. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the gun tight halfback slots week and the three passing plays that I have the most success with in the Raiders Tour Mini Scheme. this video, I'm going to be breaking down four verticals from tight, flood from tight, and I'm going to be breaking down mesh spot from tight. Once more, if you haven't checked out my past videos on this Raiders Tour Mini Scheme, I advise you do so. It's going to give you the best knowledge. You will be able to run a Raiders Tour Mini Scheme as well as anyone else can. Heart Run Master is recommended, but not required in this mini scheme. And you can really run this play to either side, and that's what's so great about this gun tight, halfback slots, weak formation, is you could really run you know, each play to each side due to its compressed form. Play number one, we are gonna be breaking down four verticals. This play is insanely tough to guard with how the meta is right now with the low ball wheel routes. Essentially, you could have three wheel routes on this play that you could throw to, one being the tight end, the next being the wide receiver or this inside slot receiver, and lastly, if you do want to incorporate the running back on a wheel route, it's gonna get you the best results you could get. You're gonna wanna flat route both outside wide receivers, and the beauty of it is you could really run it to either side of the field, short side or long side. Once you get your low ball timing down, you will be able to deliver some dots in between tight coverages. And if you want, you could motion the far outside receiver all the way out, let him set it on his flat route, and from there, it'll be a very easy read with some nice little low ball windows. If you also want to get into depth with this play, you could put your running back on a wheel route, you could streak your slot receiver, and you could flat the outside guy as well. Alongside flat routing the outside receiver on the tight end side. This way you could get your running back involved, have your streak on the field just in case it coverage gets busted. It's just a nice little mix up if you are getting tired of the original setup. The next play we're gonna run is flood and the beauty of it is you can run this play stock if you wanted to. I oftentimes audible to this play and just call it stock maybe block my tight end. You will see what gets open on this play. Just as four verticals of before, you can run this to either side of the field. I prefer you running this to the short side of the field. That way your corner route has much more space to get open. And that way your deep post is easier to throw and you can bomb more coverages that way. I like putting my running back on a out route or in route or an angle route. I like to mix it up between those routes. And if the corner route isn't open, if the you know two underneath routes aren't open, the deep bomb is likely to be open versus man coverage versus cover four versus cover two and versus cover three you just need a little bit of time for that that's why i love to block my tight end and roll out to that side another mix up of a route combo if you want to run i like to streak my slot receiver block my tight end put my running back on an in route put my far outside receiver next to the tight end side on a corner route this way you could kind of you know create a high low with the running back in the corner route and the post will still be there for a one play touchdown as your last resort. Last but not least is the mesh spot play. And there's a few route combos, just like all other plays that I have for this play. The simple play and the simple route combo is I like to flat route the wide receiver on the far outside. I like to put my inside slot receiver on a slant, my tight end on a streak, and my outside receiver on the right on a flat. This way, you could low ball the wheel route to your running back and you have the slant coming across the middle kind of creates you know a pull on the user and they kind of have to guard one or the other they guard the running back you throw the slant they guard the slant you throw the running back another great variation of this play concept is you can instead of putting a slant you could put a crossing route on your slot receiver this way you know if you need more yards than just a simple slant wait for this crosser to develop the only downside on this is you might get screamed at so be ready to make a read and hopefully you don't get baited into throwing the running back too fast or right at their user. And lastly for this play call, I love to use this as like a, you know, if I needed three points before half type of play. For this combo, I like to smart route the post route on mesh spot. I like to streak one of the two receivers on the opposite side of the field. It doesn't really matter which one you do. I like to cross her the other receiver. I like to block the tight end. And then lastly, I will put my running back on an in or an out route. This way I have two crossing routes going down the field. The user sometimes kind of messes up and sometimes their opponents mess up their defense before half. This is a big hit or miss play that I stole from my friend Volt. If you need a big dot with a little time, I recommend you guys running this play. One of the two post routes or the crossers will be open for a nice chunk of yards. And that's that for my Raiders mini scheme. Once more, if you haven't checked out my previous videos on this mini scheme, I recommend you check them out. Next things next is, you know, I might run a game with this and give you my live comm reactions and break it down. That or, you know, I'll string together some clips and compilations. 
just for your viewing and maybe I'll break it down. Until next time, guys, hopefully you enjoy this mini scheme. More tips and tricks are on the way. Just be patient with that. Until next time, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. We're signing out. Smash that like button. Comment what you guys want to see next. And I'll see you soon. Peace.